Yo, what is going on guys? Your boy says here, bring as you another Photoshop tutorial, and today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to be doing maybe part one of maybe two or three parts, not really sure, but overall it's going to teach you guys to make your own personal rebrand. Today we're going to be starting off with the logo design part of it. Uh, really quickly, if you guys don't like the little cut off term what a rebrand is, if you're not really crazy with your vocabulary with the graphics terms, rebranding yourself is either making yourself a new logo and completely like changing up you know your website, whether it be your website or your social media that you work with, whether it be Twitter, YouTube, your social you like if you know for example like YouTube banner, YouTube avatar, your Twitter header, your Twitter like avi, all that stuff matches, the color scheme is nice and perfect, the styles match, everything looks really nice and professional. So honestly a really nice clean and overall professional look to yourself or even if it's abstract of course there's two different you know design you know I guess a little industries I guess you can say that you know clash with each other you have simplistic designs simplistic low designs and crazy nice beautiful abstract designs as well with like you know crazy you know shapes and you know curves and all that stuff anyways overall that first appearance can really help you out with your your client work whether it be your on audience trying to capture overall if you look really good your first impression is one of the best impressions you can have on anyone so honestly it's the best and anyways, we're going to be teaching you guys today is going to make these simplistic logo designs right here with using the rectangle marquee tool. So something like this, uh, the reason why I'm doing this today as well is because I always taught how to use the pen tool, which I'm going to be doing again. But I always taught how to use the pen tool, but no one really knows how to excel from there. Because sometimes, if you guys don't understand, if it's your first time making a logo design, it is extremely hard because it's it takes a lot of practice. So please, if you if you have a favorite logo designer, whether it be me or whether it be like someone you know, Trust in them and please give them the respect they deserve because it's not the easiest thing to do is make a nice crazy logo That's completely original and does not match any of the one million other logo designs that are out there So honestly, it's crazy and it's really hard to like get the hang of at first But anyways what I'm doing today is I'll show you how to do like you know things like this where it's nice and simplistic And you can use rectangles and stuff or whatever you want to use and if you like if you can't just you know excel from the pencil itself and you want to get a nice little you know I guess like like a templated logo or something you can change around after you want to purchase it of course, I do do logo designs for thirty dollars. So if you want to ever contact me, my graphic order form is under the about section of my YouTube channel. So, anyways, let's get going. We're done talking. Hopefully, you guys get where we're going here. And let's just start off with giving the pen tool basics. And of course, this video, if it, it's if it hits two hundred likes in this video, we get the secret download below. I've been nine months straight ever since two thousand fourteen. The my like little two thousand fourteen. What do you call it? Like the uh, my oh my goodness. Comment down below the freaking word I'm looking for. I did this again. The, the New Year's resolution. I got it. Never mind. Bang. Let's go. <laughs> My New Year's resolution to do every like video is give back to you guys. So I've been doing that. Make sure you guys remember that. Anyways, let's get going. So the pen tool stuff. All right. So the basic learn about, uh, about the pen tool is actually P on your keyboard is the shortcut for it. And if you simply just or go over here, look at it. It looks like a, like a little light bulb, I guess you can say. So if you click, and of course, if you click again, you get a line. It starts making a path, which, and then you can also, you know, just randomly, if I just randomly click around and then connected it by just basically going to the first starting point, uh, it gets a nice path. So if you went to your paths tab right here, you can see it's right here. You can also make new ones if you want without messing around with the other work paths, uh, which can, you know, obviously be done if you want to make some more like other things, of course. But anyways, if you ever want to open a path that you already enclosed, if you simply just press Control and you select the path itself, the lines and the um, the points will pop up again that you can also hold control and select the point and move it and of course you want to select more than one you can hold shift and select other ones and move them as well and if you want to know how to curve it's extremely simple as well if you just right click delete the path to delete it and of course to start over if you just click uh, if you click again and drag of course you get these two endpoints now they're going to be created you can see now that my mouse is actually following one of the endpoints right now so it's actually really simple to make these nice, really nice, like little curves. I guess you can say more controlled curves. Whether it be like me trying to move the point by holding control, of course, and trying to like get a curve. Like I want to get a nice curve, right? Uh, it's gonna be extremely hard. I really advise you guys to actually use one of the endpoints to actually get the curve itself. Preferably one to the left, the farthest left, or the one that's going to be the left side of you. You know what I'm trying to say? Like your left hand, put it up and be like, hey, this is the one I want to mess around with. Because if you ever want to make a sharp corner. Or anything like that this endpoint is gonna be curved I'll show you that like I'll show you what, what I mean in a second but if you just hold control and select this endpoint you can get nice curved uh, controlled curves I mean and you can actually really control it way way better than actually moving this itself because moving the whole entire path sometimes you want to keep the same endpoint but move around with the curve and such so it's actually extremely extremely helpful and what I was talking about over here before is if I clicked again you get a curve at the endpoint and it actually starts a curve right here and like I said, if I don't, if you don't want, to, if don't move this, that's why I said move this one. Because if you hook Alt and you select the endpoint, actually goes away, and it'll no longer be curved to be a straight line. That's how you get those points 
and like those little cuts or I guess you can say as well if you see any logo designs like that that's how they do it and you just hold alt again see how you make those little nice little sharp turns I guess you can say or really nice sharp corners that's how you would do that and of course to fill in your path that you created you make a new layer you right click fill path and then drop down use color select the color you want you press ok you press ok again and then on your new layer your path will be nice and set and you can also just you know simply just click and drag it around all that cool stuff so this is gonna be like a basic a custom shape that you made and so you always mess around with these shapes if you wish but those are for more abstract designs and those are overall just giving you guys the basics actually actually how to go and maybe even use, use a sketch or something put it in your photoshop dot, uh, like your document page use a sketch and that's how you get those nice curves because of course it's really easy to make a curve with your hand but it's not the easiest in the computer with the pen tool because it's actually a really strong 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 tool extremely hard to learn but as soon as you learn it boom that's it so anyways that's how you do that and I'm gonna move on to make sure you're making the simplistic logo designs like this like this S right here these concepts right here I don't know if I talk about them much but basically it has a nice flow with it uh, the width and you know the height of the the rectangles are all perfectly the same that's what I mean by flow it just matches up perfectly that's how you just get these really nice clean like logos which are really good for a starter or even if you want to have it as your main logo when we teach you how to do that and also these like little revamp like revamps of that like little accents here like little deletes like I deleted a little part of it here a little part of it here and actually turned the logo to actually look, look a little bit more different than the original that's what I mean by revamping it and uh, just overall just give it like a little revise and just like make it different and just either subtract or put add-ons or even little accents to your logo to even make it like if you didn't want this it looks too simple for you try little accents like you know I'm just simply show you really quickly you can see how many like little like rectangles I had here. Just little access. I mean, just simply just clicking or just like trying to delete parts and probably add some parts, like whatever, what whatever it be. I'll show you guys in a second what I mean by all that. But I just wanted to make sure you guys know how to actually how I did it as well. You see all these little rectangles. I'm trying to do that right now. Let's get going. So I made a new uh, new layer. Deleted this one. We don't need that. So if I went to my rectangle marquee tool, which I had the little rectangles, of course. This is right here, located right here, rectangle marquee tool. You simply just click. You can drag, also if you hold shift, you make uh, perfect squares as well. Uh, that's if you want to make any squares, it's really easy to do that as well. But we're not going to be making squares, we're going to use rectangles. And I'm going to do something like this. I'll say that's good enough, something like that. And for future references, this has been the biggest help to me, and I hope it is to you if you guys don't know how to do this. But this is your foreground color right here. This is obviously with these little two little color palettes here. This is your foreground color, this is your background color. If you select them, if you change the color, and whatever but anyways if you press alt and backspace it actually copies the color which you have as your foreground color right here if you press alt backspace it automatically fills in the docu uh, the not the document the layer that's either selected with a path like the rectangle marquee tool or if I just quickly just press control D and I made a new layer obviously nothing selected so if I press alt backspace it completely fills the layer with the color that's on your foreground and if to do your background simply just pressing control backspace which is my black and you can simply just do so much, it saves so much time than either just doing right click, filling your path with the color, how you would usually or how you would normally do. But just go back really quickly, right click, you know, filling it in with the color and then pressing OK. But it's super easy, alt backspace, done, fill in the color. So that's really good as well when you're trying to make a shape with or make a logo with one shape because you can keep, just keep on using alt backspace. So control D and if to make any duplicates, you can hold alt and just simply just drag your you know mouse and have the layer selected sorry my dog uh, also if you will you can also press control J to make a duplicate and that's how you do that as well so something like this we're gonna start off with this right I'm gonna make it I made a duplicate from you know top bottom and I'm gonna press alt drag it again and make another middle one and if I was making an S again I'm gonna control T and I'll flip this 90 degrees I'm sorry for my dog I can't stop it and anyways, I'm like something like, like this, right? So of course, if you want to actually sketch a little S, I usually do this every time I sketch, uh, just so you can, you know, remember the shape of an S. Like sometimes people would forget and actually for like you know do something or curve or something wrong or put a you know something where it doesn't need to be. Simply, this can actually help a lot. So this helped me a lot as well. So I'm gonna actually cut this, like so. Uh, here, and of course, what I'm doing is using the marquee tool, the rectangle marquee tool for everything keeps nice and cut beautiful cuts and all that stuff and I'll come make another duplicate of this one drag it like over here or something get an S going right something like that that'll be fine it matches up nice and flow I'm gonna do it again rectangle control T rotate it by 90 degrees 
and what we'll do here is we'll delete this. I'm gonna move this and delete this like here or something. We're just I'm just messing around, guys. You can see this is what you would basically go through. You're just gonna be going through trial and error almost while doing these type of designs. And something like this looks like an S so far. You don't have to you don't have to connect it. Uh, you don't have to do anything else besides whatever you want to do, of course. But I'm just gonna keep on going, just because. Let's see what else we can do here. Oh, we'll do this uh, as well. If you can also just simply just you know oh, let's actually get this perfect. We're gonna take like a little square out of this, just so we have the same exact, uh, not dimensions, but the same exact, uh, the width of the the rectangles themselves. I'm gonna select whatever that little piece is. Where is it? This is it. Right click, copy. I just took out the little square here. So if I just uh, drag it down my movement tool, you can see the little squares there. It's the same exact width as the, oops, movement tool as this right here. So we'll go like that. Maybe we'll put it here as well. So something like that, there you go, here's like a cool little S I guess you can say. It's really simple to do this, like I said, it's extremely, extremely simple. And that's just basically how I did that, and how I did this one over here as well. I'm just going to Alt G or Control G this to group this really quickly. And the same how I did this one is how I would do this one. And of course this is an S, so if you want to do any other letter, it's extremely simple to almost make every single letter with a box, uh, with the rectangles. It's really easy, besides the Q. Q is always hard. It's the hardest logo to ever do one of the hardest concepts. So if your name is Q, and good, good luck, just saying. If your name starts with a Q or your alias starts with a Q, your business starts with a Q, have good luck, period. Anyways, so yeah, that's how you would do that. And of course, like I said, if you want to do little, uh, like little accents, uh, so let's see, I'm just going to show you what I mean by that. We're going to take this, right? Move that up a little bit. Actually, we'll make it a little bit longer. And something like this, uh, we're going to take and duplicate this, put that over here. I'm gonna actually fix this up a little bit. And what we can do is we're gonna select this, I'm gonna move this to about here, and we're gonna go to that new. Where's the, we're gonna try to find this right here because we're gonna try and cut it out off this, um, like this little part of it. So I think it's right, not here, but it's it's over here somewhere. Oh, what is it? Okay, so I'm just dumb. All right, so I'm going to delete that. I'm going to move it one up. Over here, delete it. Up to, delete it. Down to, delete it. And since this one's long, I'm going to shrink this a little bit. Not this, but this. It's super easy to get lost. But in the end, you'll find your way. Something like that. And then give it a little accent. So it's still an S, but it just flows like weirdly, I guess. Um, something like this is maybe, don't do too much of the, like, oh, this is messed up right here as well. You'd want to fix that. Just use the control T if you want. That's just the greatest thing about freaking, um, the rectangles and stuff. Everything can just flow really nice and well. See, like, something like this, this doesn't, like, flow. It just cuts off here. So we're going to just fix this as well. And we're going to go up. Delete. There we go. So something like that. Uh, it's looking like an S, but it like stops and just does like a little squiggly S. I don't know, something like this. Anyways, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys got like a little bit of the idea of how to actually work with the rectangle and make your own logo. Of course, if you can't, you know, make your own logo with the pen tool itself, uh, I didn't really teach you like making a logo overall because you really can't teach how to make a logo overall because it's all about the creativity and your own design work. But like I said, always try sketching out your logos. I, I do every single time now. Put it in Photoshop, paste it in there. And basically like make the curves with the pen tool itself, connect them, and then just go on from there. And it really does help me. And of course, making simplistic logos like this with the rectangle is also really great if you really can't grasp the whole creativity thing with the pen tool. Overall, this does, this looks fine itself. And if I just, you know, basically grouped it all together with control E, and then this can be like, I guess this would be Sesso HQ if it was my new logo. Of course not. I love my logo. I love the abstract design. But something like this can be what you can work with. And I really do hope you guys really take advantage of it and work with it. Logo designing was one of the hardest things, but it is one of the best things. Every company has a logo. You know why? Because you want something that represents you. And I really do hope you can make your own. If you can't, of course, you can come to anyone else like me. Like I said, you can also order my from my uh, About section. And you could do that as well. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like if you guys like enjoyed. I just said that twice. But if you guys enjoyed and if you guys learned something, please tell me. And give me other comments or something on a new upload you want to see. Peace. So this is you out later. By the way, if you guys, are you guys having trouble in school? Because my math class sucks ass.
Just saying. All right, later.